Hi there, this is Ross at Woodfire Power, and I am in, uh, let's see, where am I? Des Moines, Iowa, with my son, Ari Ten. And we went to the uh, talk by Andrew Yang at Drake University yesterday evening, and it was really awesome. Tonight at Drake University in a different building is the uh, Democratic debate where Andrew Yang is not going to be allowed to talk. So I am going there to protest. I'm going to make a cardboard sign saying, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna say, but you know, Californian, California for CA abbreviated, so it's short, CA for Yang. And um, we drove from California. So I'm gonna say we drove from California for Yang, something like that, and we'll have some Yang signs. I have some other uh, Yang signs that people could use. This is not an official Yang campaign event. I'm sure that it would be against DNC rules for uh, the Yang campaign to do this, but we live in America and we live by freedom of speech, and this is my freedom of speech. So my income level is currently labeled at the poverty level and I've donated about $700 to the Yang campaign. And so being that my income is so low, that's an awful lot of money to me. That's almost an entire month's income that I've donated over the last six months. And um, for my candidate, our candidate to be banned from speaking is to me completely wrong, especially when Yang is, uh, receiving as many donations and polling as high as he is. He should be on the debate stage. So the goal is that if we can get a lot of people to show up um, with signs, preferably really grunge, cardboard, hand-painted, grassroots signs, obviously not part of the Yang campaign, so obviously a citizens' political movement to where we are in protest of the DNC's actions. Um, as many people as can show up as possible would be great. So Paget, Tom, Tully, um, Kai, all of the Nerds for Yang teams, Erica, Simone, um, everyone all around the country um, make a video if you can and post it right away so that people watching your shows know that we're doing this. It's just happening in a couple of hours. It's about two o'clock now and I'm going to get there as soon as we can. From here we're going to leave and go to Home Depot, Depot and I'll buy some wood and um, I guess duct tape or something to include some signs together and uh, I'll get some extra little sticks, some one by two that people can use. So make your own signs out of cardboard, hand painted and just show up and we'll be there from, oh, say four, just arrive whenever you can, earlier is better. We're gonna get as close to the entrance to the debate as we can, but I'm told there'll be secret service and a lot of security because of the you know different candidates that are there. And so um, we may be pushed out a ways, but I expect we will be able to um, get ourselves positioned in a way that people going to the debate see that we are there protesting. Um, we'll get as close as we can. So if you can just get to Drake University in Des Moines, Iowa uh, this afternoon or evening, that would be awesome. The more people that show up, the better. If it's just me and my son, Ari, so be it. I know Tully is on a, a mode to uh, get over there and do something, I think. That's what I heard. I haven't connected with him. But I have connected with a number of volunteers to the Yang campaign here in Des Moines, and a number of them have said that they'll show up. Uh, at any rate, I'll be there and hopefully this gets word into the Des Moines area because there are a lot of active students at the university and a lot of them would uh, certainly show up if they know that this is going on. So the key is to get the word out. Um, sorry this is late. I just thought of it this morning when I woke up and I'm working on getting it going. 
Thank you very much for any help, and hopefully we manage to get on to the local Iowa news or possibly national news. We'll see what we can do. Thank you very much. Hang in there. America great again. And what did Hillary Clinton say in response? America's already great. You remember that, Des Moines? It's been a long three years, I know. <laughs> but it's about to end. That was not the right response because we need to acknowledge the depth and severity and reality of the problems in our communities. But then we need real solutions to move our country forward. What were Donald Trump's solutions? Build a wall, turn the clock back, bring the old jobs back. Des Moines, we have to do the opposite of these things. We have to turn the clock forward. We have to accelerate our economy and society to rise to the real challenges of the 21st century. And we, we have to evolve the, the way we see ourselves and our work now and our value. Did. I am the ideal candidate for this job because the opposite of Donald Trump is an Asian man who likes math. Thank you.